You're watching The Ugly Inside. Subscribe below. Welcome to my predicted 11 for Thursday night's big one. Away to Inter Milan at the San Siro. 7,000 of us. We expect some rotations. So let me get into the team. In the sticks then, I expect Fraser Forster to retain his place. Another fantastic display again on on Sunday against Burnley. He will be playing in the sticks at the San Siro. Now, we've got a few problems at fullback. A couple of injuries. Obviously, Cedric and Bertrand both missed Burnley's game. And with that in mind, obviously, Pierre's out injured for a long time. Martina will start at right back. And... Uh, in the centre-back, you know what, I think Fonte might be rested for this one. There'll be a lot of rotation, like I just said. So I think Yoshida will come in and sit with Van Dijk. Uh, Van Dijk has been outstanding for us all season. And I think he'll actually he'll, he'll lead the team out as captain at the San Siro on Thursday. But Fonte will be on the bench, uh, surely. So to finish off the back four then, at left-back, is only really one man available right now. Matty Target, Ryan Bertrand, both... Uh, out injured, Target obviously limped off against Burnley and Bertrand's not fit. So from South End to the San Siro, Sam McQueen, I think, will start against Inter Milan on Thursday. It continues his movie moment, which he said to the Daily Echo, and his stuff dreams are made of for the boy. Played at Roots Hall last season, now he's playing with Southampton at San Siro. Good luck to you, lad, and hope you do well on Thursday. Moving on to midfield then, I think it's got to be Romeo in the base of midfield. He's been outstanding for us all season. Uh, once again, another outstanding display against Burnley on Sunday. So two players actually missed Burnley's game, albeit one of them came on for five minutes towards the end. I think the two in midfield were deliberately rested against Burnley to play a part and start against Inter Milan. And those two being Pierre Mourhoeberg, the big Dane, alongside James Ward-Prowse. James Ward-Prowse has got... Quite a lot of minutes under his belt in the Europa League this season already. Obviously played against Hapoel and played against Sparta at home. So I think those would be the two central midfielders on Thursday night in Italy. And to finish off the midfield and in the number 10, our Serbian superstar, I think it's going to be Dusan Tadic. Uh, didn't have quite a, an outstanding display against Burnley, but nonetheless he'll be needed to uh, offer that creativity going forward against San Siro, against uh, you know these Italian giants. To finish off the 11 then, there's a bit of a debate with this one. Obviously, Charlie Austin's in hot form right now, but he hasn't yet finished 90 minutes for us and uh, always coming off around the 67-minute mark or coming on at 20 minutes. And I think that'll be, the, that'll be the same case again on Thursday. Charlie Austin will not start this one. I think it'll be Shane Long with Nathan Redmond. Nathan Redmond, again, scored a, uh, another fabulous goal in the penalty box against Burnley. And he's been, you know, he's doing quite well for us this season. So I think it'd be Shane Long, Nathan Redmond up top, Although they might have a bit of a battle on their hands with the big sort of tall strapping lads and strong central defenders at Inter Milan. However, Charlie Austin will come on and I think he might even get on the score sheet. But also a big shout out needs to be said about Jay Rodriguez. Obviously came on against his old club Burnley on Sunday. He might be within a shout. I think it's probably between him and Shane Long to perhaps start this one. But I'm going to pick Shane Long to start. And also, if he's fit, our record signing, so famed with foul, I think will sit on the bench and hopefully might even make his debut at the San Siro. Imagine that, his debut at the San Siro, eh? Anyway, that's my starting 11 to play Inter Milan on Thursday evening. Let us know if you're going over there. Let us know if you're already there and let us know which team you'd like to see play against Inter Milan at the San Siro. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.